Hey YouTube, it's David here. It's been a while since I've made a video. Now this one I've decided to call medical prepping. And um, as you can see here on the table I have a number of uh, medical items. Now believe it or not, I mean there's really not that much there I suppose. But I, I have a relatively severe burn on my foot. Um, and this uh, collection of, uh, of medical products that you see uh, in front of you will only last me a couple of days. And that's just to treat a small burn. And uh, I really think that, you know, for those of you who are prepping, now we've all got first aid kits, we've got trauma kits, we've got things like that. But when it actually comes to healing a wound, it requires a lot of material. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, prepping videos where people, you know, are preparing their food, you know, to last them for a year or two years. People have got MREs, they've got their own gardens, they've got freeze-dried canned goods, whatever, you know, to last them because they know how much they're going to consume in order to survive over a period of time. But with medical products, we very, very often think, okay, I've got a first aid kit, that's gonna be fine. When the truth is, I'm afraid, completely different. If you, even if you have a, a, a relatively moderate wound, you are going to require a lot of material. You're gonna require gauze, you're gonna require antiseptics, you might require uh, plasters of, of some description, you might need a, uh, you know, like a basic dressing uh, kit to keep things sterile. Usually these comes, you come with, um, you know, plastic forceps and a tray and cotton buds and gauze and things like that, you know, it's to keep the, the area sterile, um, you know. They don't last very long at all. You know, you need a whole range of different things. You've got powders, you've got, um, you know, just even, you know, keeping your hands clean with alcohol sanitizer or something like that. Uh, you're gonna require a lot of material. So my advice is when you're really thinking about preparing for being in a situation uh, without the rule of law or for whatever reason there's a pandemic or whatever it is that you're preparing for, take some time and think about what it is that you are going to need if you or one of the people in your group or your family uh, are injured. Even with a moderate wound, you're going to require a lot, a lot of material. So, so people are doing the right thing with food preps. I know uh, in America and, and, and other countries where um, guns are very popular, people have got you know thousands and thousands of rounds of, of ammunition. That's great, but what happens if, if you get shot yourself or something like that and you've got to care for a wound? You will go through material very, very quickly. Now, while I'm, while I'm here, let me just quickly talk uh, about uh, burns, um, let's not say third degree burns because they require skin grafts in many cases, things like that, first or second degree burns, things that you're going to need or things that, I, that I'm using anyway that I find uh, very effective. Now, I don't know whether you can see this, whether I'm holding it up in frame, it doesn't matter, I'll tell you the name of it. It's really, really good stuff. It's a cream that they put on burns and you can usually get this over the counter and it's called Silver Sulfur Diazine. Silver Sulfur Diazine. Now, it's better than any antibiotic uh, ointment that, that you can get. Um, in itself, it's not technically an antibiotic, antibiotic, it's more like an antiseptic, except it lasts for a long, long time. Um, and so when you cover it, you only need to put a thin covering over a burn wound, and then you can keep that burn wound covered uh, and without having to reapply it. You only need to apply this once, maybe, maybe twice a day, 
um, usually once once is fine uh, whereas uh, traditional antibiotic ointments um, lose their effectiveness a lot faster and this has a much 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 broader spectrum um, of antimicrobial activity as well so it's definitely uh, worth getting uh, things that uh, are also very useful uh, you know sort of big size antiseptic solutions uh, usually these are already dilated a lot of people have iodine and things like that that they can make uh, you know dilute and make make solutions but you need a lot of it you know you, you're flushing out wounds you're cleaning wounds you're doing things like that uh, you'd be surprised just how quickly you go through things and that's as I said that's really the point of this video is to uh, help make people aware that you know if you are preparing for uh, an event where you're going to have to look after yourself don't forget to stock up on medical supplies because you will go through them far far faster than you think you will okay have a great time everybody keep prepping and I'll talk to you later bye now